Hi. Imagine that you're stuck in the woods, 30 to 45 minutes walk from anywhere where people can help you. How are you going to get through that day? Today, we're going to learn how to forage survive the woods. Come on, I'll show you. First thing you're going to need to do, don't bring horses on the trail. Only eat the blue salal berries, the others are sour and yucks. My tum tum feels good. Wild hazelnut. Shy bearing means no nuts for you, no Nutella tonight. And goggles will always help with finding nature's bounty. But you can't call me four eyes because I can take them off. Hey Zach, this is great news. There's a river, they're filled with food. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have salmon. <laughs> Got my lucky shirt. So Zach, you know what's really cool here is we're at a watershed. Now that's where the water comes from the ocean and it's the clouds and they rain on the mountain and the snow melts and it comes down here and the fish swim in it. And it's just a big circle of life and just out being out here 30, 45 minutes away from civilization. Oxbow Regional Park is part of Metro. That's right camp here, spend time out here in the woods, get real clean living in the creek, out in the creek. Oh, well, this is pretty. Dude, I can't believe you forgot the fishing pole. What's the deal? Remember what happened last time? Yeah, but we caught like six ducks at the park and we ate good for weeks. Remember that? Yeah, but we weren't supposed to. All right, just, come on, just roll, 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 roll. If you're caught out in the woods and you don't have a fishing pole because your kid forgot it, you can use a rabbit stick. That's a very primitive way to take a stick and fling it at a rabbit's head or something or a deer's leg and then you grab it and bonk it and eat it. But I don't do that with salmon, so we're going to use a salmon rock and then we're going to basically we're going to get a couple of these and we shoot, we shoot. Okay, I'm catching the salmon. Dad? <laughs>